Good morning, students. Am I audible? Good morning, students. Am I audible? Okay. So, in the last session, we discussed the concept of... Uh, organism and population yes youtube students good morning uh, in this session we are going to concentrate about the next topic that is ecosystem so ecosystem the marks allotted for this topic is 5 to 6 marks so 5 to 6 marks we will get from this topic in uh, what we can say is uh, cet So some of you did not connect to the audio yet, please do connect to the audio. My key, my option may join with the audio on the right. And then click mark the hodre, nim audio kills odila. Okay. So let us begin regarding the echo system. Fine. Uh, regarding ecosystem, we are going to discuss multiple choice questions today. I hope uh, everyone uh, attended uh, mock test series. Are you all attending mock test series? I have sent you the link yesterday. Who all attended? Just uh, let me know in the chat box. Mock test attend Adra Elru. Yes. Okay. Fine. So let us proceed to about today's first question on uh, ecosystem. Fine. Yes, ma'am. The first question goes like this. I request everyone, you can answer through the chat box. It will be good if you answer through the chat box instead of the mic. So, uh, the first question goes like this. All of you mute yourself. There is no, no, I mean, simply unnecessarily don't unmute. The first question, a functional unit of nature where living organisms interact among themselves and also with the surrounding physical environment is a biosphere, 
B. Ecosystem. C. Environment. D. None of these. Aishu answered it. Yes, YouTube students. Good morning. Kavya H. Akash. Ramya Yasin. Pavitra. Jayashri CM. Bhuvan. Sushmita. Ranjita. Good. So most of you are answering it as option A. Few of you answered it as option C. Okay, let me uh, check the right answer. Before that, I request everyone, please do attend the mock test series. Tasmiya Banu also answered it as option B. So, let us check the answer here. Akash also answered it. The right answer is here, option B, that is ecosystem. Option B, ecosystem is a right answer. Very easy question and quick responses. Uh, the term ecosystem was coined by... A. A. G. Tansley, B. E. Heitel, C. E. Warming, D. E. P. Odom. The term ecosystem is coined by. The first quick response is given by Aishu Akash Tashmiya Banu. Karatgi uh, Boy B who is active on YouTube. He answered it as option C. So Pavitra Subramanya Sushmita also answered it good. Be fast. Very easy question. So, the right answer is here. Most of you are ordering for option C, Anta. The right answer is option A. A. G. Tansley. Okay. He coined the term ecosystem. Next question. The basic categories of ecosystem are aquatic, terrestrial, both A and B, grassland and desert, uh, sorry, grassland and crop field. Which are the basic categories of ecosystem? Kavya, Tasmiya Banu, Aishu, Mangal, Bashatti, Akash. Yes, YouTube students. Ramya, Pavitra, Shabina, Sheikh, Sushmita answer to it. Great. So the confusion, Jayashree, the confusion is between option uh, C and option D. Okay, Xiaomi 2307. So, please rename yourself. Uh, just edit your mobile number and uh, uh, I mean type your name there. So, Akash also answered it as option C. Let us check the answer. The confusion is between B and C. The right answer is both A and B. That is option C. Aquatic Mathe Terrestrial. Yerudu Kuda Ecosystem na basic categories are given. Next question, which of the following is an example of a man-made ecosystem? Very easy question. A, an island. B, aquarium. C, desert. D, forest. Which of the following is an example of man-made ecosystem? Akash, answer to it. Tasmiya, Banu, Kavya, Ramya, Dhanush, HJ, good. Yes, Pavitra, Jyoti, answer to it. Very easy question and quick responses to you all. From you all, option B is a right answer. Yes, my dear students, let us proceed to the next question. The two components of an ecosystem are A, plants and animals, B, weeds, trees, animals and man, C, energy flow and mineral cycling, D, biotic and abiotic. Yes, the quick response is given by Akash, Aishu, Tasmiya Banu, yes, YouTube students, Dhanush, HJ, Shabina, Shay, Good, Kavya, H, Sushmita, so Mangal Bashati, Jyoti Ladi, all of you are answering it quickly and correctly. Right, the right answer is here. Option D, biotic and abiotic components are the two components, that is living and non-living. Abiotic components refers to option A, non-living physical chemical factor, B, living physical chemical factor, C, gases produced by industries, D, living organism. So, what do you mean by abiotic components? Yes, my dear YouTube students, be fast and type your answer in the chat box. Danush, HJ, Tasmiya, Banu answered it quickly. Jyoti, Aka, Sushmita are here. Very good, Pavitra. Then, 
Ramya Yesen, Shabina Sheikh, Kavya H. Good. So, the most of you answering it as option A, that is non living physico chemical factors. And the exactly abiotic things are nothing but non living factors. Let us proceed to the next question. Very easy question again. Biotic components refers to gases produced by industries, nutrient deficient soil, living organism, fossil fuels. Yes, my dear YouTube students, be fast. The quick responses is from Dhanush HJ, Tasmiya Banu, Aishu, Kavya, Jyoti, Shabina, Sheikh, Pavitra, Ramya, Yesin, Ranjita, good. So, most of you voted for option C, living organism, exactly the right answer. Option C is a right answer. Now, before proceeding to the next question, let me share you, share with you the links of mock test. I request everyone, please do attend the mock test series. Mock test series gotilla madam yelli de antandre. It will be there in the uh, comment box of a YouTube as well as in the Zoom link chat box. I will just share with you. Just a minute. Ecosystem C E T link. So all of you please do check your chat box so here is a cet link cet mock test link for uh, ecosystem please do attend the uh, mock test and i am also sharing the neek mock, mock test series so you can also attempt neek mock test series don't worry like uh, Your marks will not be known to anyone. Okay. Fine. So, you can check in the chat box. Please do attend the mock test. 8. One vertical distribution of different species occupying different levels in the biotic community is known as A. Divergence, B. Stratification, C. Zonation, D. Pyramid. So, the quick response is given by Adiga, Dhanush, HJ, Jyoti, Laddi, Aishu, Pavitra, yes, Akash, Unnecessary Agi, unmute Ag Bedi. Ranjita. Okay, most of you voted it for option B, that is stratification. They asked vertical distribution. So, vertical distribution and the bandaga, remember, it is nothing but a stratification. Ramya Yasin, do you have any doubt? Okay, stratification is more pronounced in A, tropical rainforest, B, deciduous forest, C, temperate forest, D, tropical savanna. Stratification is more pronounced in what? Akash, Ranjita, Tasmiya, Banu, Sharat. Shabina, Sheikh, Sushmita, Ramya, yes, and yes, my dear boys and girls on YouTube. Jyoti also answer to it. So, the right answer here is Dhanush HJ. So, most of you uh, answered it as option A, that is in tropical rainforest, we can see the stratification. Which one of the following is not a functional unit of an ecosystem? Functional unit. A is energy flow. B is decomposition. C is productivity. D is stratification. Akash, Aishu, Tasmiya, Banu, Dhanush, HJ, Shabina, Sheikh, Kavya, H. Sushmita, Jyoti, Vishwa, Pavitra. 
रंजिता ओके आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मैक्सिमम प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ पॉन्ड इज अचीव्ड बाय मैक्सिमम प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ पॉन्ड इज अचीव्ड बाय ए फाइटो प्लांटोन बी जू प्लांटोन सी फ्लोटिंग प्लांट डी रेड अलगे तस्मियाबानु आयशु ज्योति पवित्र रम्या एस एन शबीना शेख रंजिता काव्या विश्वा स्वाति एम एस सुष्मिता सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू आंसर इट एज ऑप्शन ए राइट आंसर ऑप्शन ए फाइटो प्लांटॉन इन अ पॉन्ड एको सिस्टम अटोट्रोफिक कंपोनेंट्स आर phytoplanktons algae submerged and marginal plants d all of the above which are the autotrophic components uh, in pond ecosystem bara dana ko mana de pale yes tanush hj aishu ranjita rb tasmiya banu kavya h vishwa ramya sn शबीना शेख सुष्मिता स्वाति एम एस सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू आंसर इट करेक्टली ऑल ऑफ द अब इज अ राइट आंसर प्राइमरी प्रोडक्शन इज रीड द क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली प्राइमरी प्रोडक्शन इज एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेट और एनर्जी द अमाउंट ऑफ बायोमास और ऑर्गेनिक मैटर produced per unit area over a time period by plants during photosynthesis c both a and b d none of the above adiga uh, pavitra s aishu dhanush tasmiya banu shabina shekh then sushmita so most of them answered it as option c ranjita vishwa kavya so i request everyone please uh, change your chat option as a message to nidhi ma'am anta instead of everyone message to nidhi ma'am anta irutte so your answers will only come to me swati ms also answered it so the right answer is here option c that is both a and b expressed in terms of weight or energy and the amount of biomass that is the definition of primary production so option c is a right answer next question the rate of biomass production is productivity photosynthesis respiration decomposition dhanush hj aishu tasmiya banu yes youtube students ranjita sushmita jyoti kavya vishwa so the confusion is between option b and option a so let us check the answer here the right answer is here the right rate of biomass production is called as productivity option a is a right answer option a shrikant swati ms also answer to it next question in an ecosystem the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis is termed as net primary productivity gross primary productivity secondary productivity net productivity so kadralli mahesh is active on youtube yes in an ecosystem the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis is termed as dhanush hj aishu tasmiya uh, ranjita yes youtube students shabina sushmita vishwa so most of you are answering Uh, ramya answered it right so the right answer is here in an ecosystem the rate of production of organic matter with the help of a photosynthesis is known as option b gross primary productivity most of you voted for option c secondary anta no it is not a secondary it is gross primary productivity because it is a primary source right next par stands for photosynthetic active reaction photosynthesis absorb radiation 
photosynthetically active reaction uh, sorry radiation photosynthetically active reaction what is par ranjita pavitra aishu shabina shekh sushmita ramya sn kadroli mahesh uh, is active on youtube option c he answered it as option c Ra dhanush hj kavya h answer to it so the right answer for this is option c photosynthetically active reaction next question energy enters in any ecosystem through herbivores carnivores producers decomposers energy enters in any ecosystem through what ranjita tasmiya ramya sn aishu pavitra shabina shekh dhanush sindhu sushmita vishwa so most of them are voted for option c producers anta exactly the energy enters in any ecosystem through producer that is nothing but plants so sri shrikant and kadroli mahesh on youtube answered it quickly so the next question is energy flow in an ecosystem is unidirectional bidirectional multidirectional all of these ramya s dhanush hj kavya h shabina shekh ganesh kumar pujari is active on youtube then aishu uh, pavitra swati ms so most of them voted as option a sindhu sushmita shrikant yes good so most of you voted it as option a that is unidirectional is a accurate answer next question the green plants in an ecosystem which can trap solar energy to convert it into chemical bond energy so what are these green plants are called as very easy question a producer b the decomposer c consumer d predators the quick response is given by kavya shabina shekh tasmiya kadroli mahesh from youtube and ganesh are active ranjita rb yes ramya sn pavitra subramanya aishu so most of them answered it correctly very easy question and very quick responses option a is a right answer next question ecosystem need a constant supply of energy yake ecosystem ge yavaglu one supply of energy irbeku to counter uh, counteract increasing disorderliness to counteract uh, in decreasing disorderliness counteract okay okay one is increasing and one is decreasing c to synthesize molecules d both a and c shrikant kavya sushmita tasmiya aishu answer to it ranjita answer to it good yes yes youtube students be fast shabina shekh ramya sn answer to it so let us check the answer here option d both a and c do, to counteract increasing disorderly lens to synthesize molecules exactly so option c is a right answer tumba jana answer madilla option c anta next question in a balanced ecosystem you would expect biomass of the dash to be greater than the biomass of any other groups of organism the most appropriate word has to be filled in the blank is a producer b primary consumers c secondary consumers d top predators yes yes youtube students what is your response on this aishu ranjita kadroli mahesh is active on youtube Srikanth, simp, uh, Ramya Essen, simply don't unmute yourself. Be careful while handling the mobile. Yes, 
the right answer is here option a that is producer next question all the animals that depend on plants directly or indirectly for food are called as very easy question a decomposers b root feeders c consumers d grazers Sabina, Sheikh, Tasmiya, Kavya, H, Aishu, Pavitra, Sharat. Yes, YouTube students. Ramya, SN. So, most of them answering it as option C, Anta. So, the right answer is option C, consumers. Read the question properly. Harbi O's are also called dash, that is A. Secondary consumers are eaten by larger dash that is B. Dash that is C consumer eat the secondary consumers. A network of many food chains is called D. So you have to choose the correct option for A, B, C and D. Mahalakshmi and uh, Adiga answer to it. Kadroli Mahesh answer to it. Ranjita RB, Tasmiya Banu, Sharat Vishwa. Then... Uh, Aishu, okay, most of them is answering it as option B. So, option B, any day, no, 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 no. Shrikant, Ramya, SN, answer to it. So, the right answer is here. Uh, B, and the healthy, there are primary consumer. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, then, A is primary consumer. B is predator. C is tertiary consumer. D is food web. Okay. So, most of you voted it for option B. Some of you voted it for option C. So, the right answer is here. Option B. That is A is primary consumer. That is deer. Uh, what we can see. Uh, sorry, deer. We can take grasshopper. We can take. So, these are the primary consumers. The next one is B, predators. C, tertiary consumer. D, food web. So, option B is the right answer. Next question. Frog, frog that eats and on insects is a option A, primary consumer, B, secondary consumer, C, tertiary consumer, D, decomposer. So, frog that feeds on insect is called as Sushmita, Ranjita, Tasmiya Banu. Yes, YouTube students. Vishwa, Adiga, Mahalakshmi, Ramya, SN, Srikanth, Ganesh Kumar, Pujari is active on YouTube. Kadroli, Mahesh answer to it. Kavya, H, Sarat. So, most of you answered it as option B. Some of you answered it as option C. So, let us check the answer. The right answer is here option B. So, frog that feeds on insect. Insect will feed on plant. So, plant is a producer, insect is a primary consumer, frog will be a secondary consumer. So, option B is the right answer. Next question, which one of the following pairs belong to the category of primary consumers? Kelagade kottirodhu yavdu primary consumer ge example agathe. Insects and cattle, B, eagle and snakes, C, insects and snakes, D. Snakes and frog. Yes, my dear YouTube students, Ganesh, Kadroli, Mahesh, uh, both are active on YouTube. Aishu, Ramya, SN, Tasmiya, Banu, Ranjita, Kavya, H, Mahalakshmi, Sushmita. The confusion is between A, B and D. The right answer is here. Option A. Insects and cattle. Eagle and snakes are tertiary consumer. Insects and snakes. Snakes and frogs. So, insects and cattle are there, no? So, the uh, option A is the right answer. Next question. Identify the food chain. Dead animal, blow fly, maggots, common frog, snake. So, what? which uh, food chain does it implicate? Grazing food chain. Detritus food chain. Uh, decomposer food chain, 
predator food chain. The quick response is given by Kavya H. Yes, YouTube students, be fast. Kavya H. Aishu. Sushmita. Tasmiya Banu. Pavitra S. Ramya S. N. So, most of you answered it as option B. That is detritus food chain. As the food chain started with a dead organism. So, the right answer will be detritus food chain. So, dead animal is a right answer. Yes, Ganesh is active on YouTube. A lion that eats a zebra that ate a grass is a. A lion that eats a zebra that ate a grass is a primary producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, quaternary consumer. The quick response is given by Ramya SN, Dhanush HJ, Tasmiya, Kavya, Ranjita RB, Ganesh Kumar Pujari on YouTube. So, most of you voted it for option C, few of you voted it for option B. So, a lion that eats zebra, zebra that ate grass, grass is a producer, zebra is a primary uh, consumer, Kadroli Mahesh and Ganesh answer to it, then uh, zebra is a primary consumer. Zebra is eaten by lion. So, then it is a secondary consumer. Option C is a right answer. Right? Next question. See, simple. So, read the question properly and then answer. A beer that eats a fish that further ate bucks. Uh, that ate algae is a. A beer is there which eats a fish. That fish eats a bucks. That uh, eats a algae is a primary producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer. The quick response is given by Ranjita, Ramya, Dhanush, Aishu, Sushmita, Kavya. Okay, let us check the answer. Tasmiya Banu, the right answer is here, option D, tertiary consumer. Beer will be? tertiary consumer. Next, a beer who eats a chicken that ate grain is, a, sorry, a person, not a beer, a person who eats a chicken that ate grain is, grain is a producer, then chicken is a primary consumer and the person, okay. So, A is primary producer, B is primary consumer, C is secondary consumer, D is quaternary consumer. Yes, Ganesh and Mahesh are active on YouTube. Sharat answered it quickly. Mahalakshmi, Kavya, H, Sushmita, Aishu, Pavitra, yes. So, most of you voted for option C. Some of you voted for option D. So, the right answer is here. Option C, secondary consumer. Vegetable eater person acts as. Yes, vegetable eating person acts as. Primary producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer. The quick response is given by Divya HB Mahalakshmi Sindhu, Pavitra Sushmita Mahalakshmi Aishu Tasmiya, Kadroli Mahesh and Ganesh are active on YouTube, Dhanush HJ Ramya SN, uh, okay, Ranjita RB. So, most of you voted for option B, that is primary consumer, and the, exactly the right answer. Next question, the relation uh, between producers and consumers is an ecosystem, in an ecosystem can be graphically represented in the form of a, period, a pyramid. Okay, what that pyramid is called as? A, ecological pyramid, B, trophic level, C, pie chart, D, pyramid of biomass. Dhanush HJ, Ranjita RB. Aishu, Ramya, SN, Mahalakshmi. So, the right answer is here. Option A, uh, ecological pyramid. Next question. Uh, I read the question properly. Yes, Kanesh Kumar Pujari, Biru and Mahesh are active on YouTube. In an ecological yes. pyramid, the base always present dash that is A and the apex represent B. Here A and B represent. What does that A and B represent? Kavya, Divya, Mahalakshmi, uh, Sindhu, Tasmiya. So, 
so most of them answered uh, it correctly so the right answer is here option a that is producers producers is the right answer next question to show how many organisms are present at each level of a food chain ecologists use a model an energy flow pyramid pyramid of numbers pyramid of energy food chain web pyramid so sudeep is active on youtube ganesh kumar pujari is active on youtube kadroli mahesh answer to it very good so the to show how many organism are present in the level of a food chain so aranjita mahalakshmi answer to it let us check the answer here option b that is pyramid of numbers is a right answer next question how many trophic levels in a human beings functions at a food chain a 1 b 2 c 3 a uh, d 4 i am sorry yes sushmita ranjita aishu mahalakshmi so most of you voted for option c so that is 3 option c is a right answer the upright pyramid of a number is absent in upright pyramid of a number is absent in pond forest lake or grassland ramya jyoti pavitra s tasmiya banu aishu ganesh kumar on youtube then ranjita divya so most of them are answering to it the confusion is between b and d so the right answer is here option b that is forest in the uh, forest we cannot find the upright pyramid of numbers next question which of the following ecological pyramid are always inverted yava pyramid do yavaglu inverted ulta irutte pyramid of uh, number is parasitic food chain and pyramid of biomass in ponds ecosystem pyramid of number in pond ecosystem pyramid of biomass in pond ecosystem pyramid of number in pacific food chain and pyramid of number in a pond ecosystem d all of the above sushmita answer to it kavya h yes youtube students ramya sn tasmiya banu so most of you are voting for option a and d the right answer is here option a that is pyramid of number in uh, a parasitic food chain and biomass in eco pond ecosystem next question read the question properly just a minute okay so given below is one of the types of ecological pyramid so tc is tertiary consumer ssc is a secondary consumer pc is primary pp is primary producer so these are the number of individual so this type represents what pyramid of number in grassland ecosystem pyramid of energy in forest ecosystem pyramid of biomass in sea ecosystem pyramid of biomass in terrestrial ecosystem swati ms sushmita biru mahesh and ganesh are active on youtube aishu pavitra ranjita ramya so most of them are voting for option a few of them voted for option b so the let us check the answer the right answer is option a pyramid of number in a grassland ecosystem sudeep and mahesh also answer to it so option a is a, a right answer next question uh, which of the following representation show uh, both pyramid of numbers and biomass in a grassland ecosystem okay so which of the following representation show both pyramid of numbers and biomass in a grassland ecosystem a b and c or none of these yes tell me ranjita divya aishu pavitra so most of them are voting for option b ramya so the right answer is here option b that is ha this one here okay next question peacock eats a snake snake eats a frog 
frog eats insects while insects eat green plants the position of peacock is okay write down it i am sorry kadrulli mahesh ganesh and sudeep are active on youtube so peacock eats a snake snake eats a frog frog eats insect insect is it's a green plant so peacock is primary secondary decomposer at the apex of a food ecological pyramid ramya has then answered it quickly aishu jyoti tasmiya banu sushmita mahesh kodrali on youtube then pavitra so many of them voted for option d that is at the apex of a ecological pyramid so option d is a right answer next question given below is an imaginary pyramid of a number okay what could be the possibilities about certain organism at some of the different levels so level pc is insects level ssc is small insectivorous birds mm. hmm. then level pp is a phytoplankton in c and whale on top level that is tc tc tertiary consumer then level 1 primary producer is people tree uh, and level ssc that is secondary consumer is sheep d level primary consumer is rat and level secondary consumer is cat ramya answer to it adiga ranjita tasmiya banu sudeep and mahesh answered on the youtube aishu jyoti so most of them are answering it as option a so the right answer is here option a that is level 1 okay that is primary consumer is insect this is insect okay 500 then secondary consumer is small insectivorous birds so option a is the right answer next good next question which kind of pyramid is represented by the given diagram primary consumer primary producer pyramid of number in a tree ecosystem pyramid of biomass in tree ecosystem pyramid of biomass in aquatic ecosystem yes ganesh and mahesh are active on youtube pyramid of energy in tree ecosystem ranjita answered it quickly uh, ramya sn sushmita tasmiya banu pavitra s sindhu answer to it so the right answer is here option c that is pyramid of biomass in an ecosystem given diagram represents pyramid of biomass in an ecosystem identify a of a b and select correct options a is phytoplankton b is zooplankton a is zooplankton b is phytoplankton a is small body animals b is small body animals the quick response is given by aishu swati mahesh and ganesh sudeep are active on youtube ranjit arbi jyoti ramya sn aishu sushmita so uh, the correct answer is here option a that is a is phytoplankton b is zooplankton is a right answer next question is already agi there next an inverted pyramid of dash that is a may occasionally be observed in b communities a is energy b is grassland a is energy b is forest a is biomass b is marine a is biomass b is garland the quick response is given by sindhu sushmita tasmiya banu uh, uh, ramya sn jyoti kadrulli mahesh answer to it yes aishu so the right answer for this is option c that is a biomass b marine which of the following always has a pyramid shape that is decreasing values at a higher trophic levels pyramid of number pyramid of biomass both a and b pyramid of energy yes exactly option d pyramid of energy is a right answer during ecological succession the gradual and predictable change in species composition occur in given area 
yes youtube students ganesh kumar biru and mahesh are active on youtube the gradual predictable change in species composition occurs in given area the establishment of new biotic community the numbers and types of animals remain constant the changes lead to a community that is near equilibrium with the environment and is called as pioneer community the two responses ranjita and jyoti bhagu hanumanal okay hanumanala is active on youtube ganesh kumar is active on youtube tasmiya ramya sn are active on youtube so the right answer is here option a the gradual and predictable changes in species composition occurs in a given area it is called ecological succession ecological succession in a sequence of series leads to leading from barren land to the barren land iddu cereal community climax community pioneer species benthos what will happen barren land will become what in ecological succession kadrolli mahesh also answer to it pavitra tasmiya banu ranjita uh, yes most of them are answering to it let us check the answer here the right answer is here option b some of you i outed for option d so option b is climax community next question climax community is stable self perpetuating final biotic community all of these what do you mean by climax uh, community yes youtube students the quick response is given by ranjita aishu tasmiya banu uh, ramya sn jyoti pavitra s okay so most of you voted it for option d that is all of these and the health idra the right answer is here option d next question in ecological succession the communities in near equilibrium with the environment are called as ganesh kumar uh, pujari uh, biru is active on youtube hanumanala uh, is active on youtube so the right answer for this question is option a answered by sushmita so the right answer for this question is that is option a climax community annodu sariyad uttara aishu ramya tasmiya also answer to it next question in a plant succession when climax community is reached the net productivity uh, what will happen to the net productivity continues to rise becomes zero becomes reduced becomes stable yes uh, youtube students ranjita pavitra aishu tasmiya uh, sushmita so most of them answered it as option d few of them answered it as option b so the right answer is here option d okay yes youtube students the right answer is option d becomes stable next question the nature of climax community in ecological succession the nature of climax community in ecological succession is most dependent upon a climate b water c soil fertility d none of these sushmita ranjita tasmiya banu then ramya sn aishu ganesh kumar from uh, youtube kadrolli mahesh from youtube pavitra vivo 1820 so most of them answered it as correctly the right answer is option a climate next question the entire sequence of community that successively changes in a given area is called as seer climax pioneer pioneer xerarch the entire sequence of community successively changes in a given area aishu sushmita ranjita ramya adiga so most of you voted for option d zira kanta the right answer is here option a it is called seer it is called s e r e c yes uh, kadrolli mahesh is active on youtube an individual transitional communities in ecological uh, succession is called as rakshit ganesh kumar pujari are active on youtube climax community 
பயோனியார் கம்யூனிட்டி சிரல் கம்யூனிட்டி சிங்கல் கம்யூனிட்டி ஜோதி பவித்ரா தஸ்மியா பானு ரஞ்சிதா பவித்ரா சுப்பிரமணியா ரம்யா எஸ் என் சோ மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் யூ ஓட்டெட் ஃபார் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ ஃபியூ ஆஃப் யூ ஓட்டெட் ஃபார் ஆப்ஷன் சி த ரைட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் இயர் ஆப்ஷன் சி சீரல் கம்யூனிட்டி டிரான்ஸ்பிஷனல் கம்யூனிட்டிஸ் இதாக இன் எக்காலஜிக்கல் சக்சஷன் அதுக்கு நம்ம சீரல் கம்யூனிட்டிஸ் அந்த ஹேல்தேவே ரைட் சோ ஆப்ஷன் சி இஸ் அ ரைட் ஆன்சர் நெக்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन இன் தி சக்சசிவ் சீரல் ஸ்டேजेस தேர் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ change in diversity of species of organism increase in the number of species and organism increase in total biomass uh, d all of the above successive serial stages alli enagutte enirutte yes jyoti dasmiya ranjita aishu sushmita so the confusion is between option c and option d so the right answer is here option d that is all of the above let us come to the next question before that i will just share the google form and the cet form link please stay tuned in and i request everyone please do attend the mock test series okay the species that invade a bare area in ecological succession are called as benthos biological species serial species pioneer species sushmita ranjita uh, kavya answer to it so the right answer is here option d option d that is pioneer species is a right answer next question primary succession yes krishna uh, sorry kadrolli mahesh is active on youtube primary succession is the development of communities on cleared forest area previously unoccupied sites fresh harvested crop field d cooked field a day after a day season pavitra ramya answer to it yes ranjita tasmiya answer to it good so the right answer is here option b that is previously unoccupied sites last question of today during succession the establishment of new biotic community is generally low the most appropriate word to fill in the blank is primary secondary tertiary quaternary sushmita ramya ranjita uh answer to it so the right answer for this is option a that is primary succession next question primary succession which occurs on a primary barren area is quite hostile to the first life of a pioneer community takes a very long time where pioneer community comes from outside d all of the above the right answer is option d all of the above next question uh, in primary succession which occurs as idai talwa next na a uh, primary succession on rocks starts with a lichen b grasses c mosses d ferns ganesh and mahesh are active on youtube so the right answer for this is pavitra kavya tasmiya uh, ramya yes good so the right answer for this question is option a option a is a right answer right so this is about the multiple choice question on ecosystem mainly you have to focus on that fill in the blanks one passage kottu fill in the word anta kodtare so avaga suitable terminologies ana a passage alli hakbeku we discussed more than 5 or 6 passage type 
questions in this lesson okay so tomorrow we are going to discuss the other topic uh, just a minute yeah tomorrow we are going to start with a reproductive health and diseases that topic we are going to start so in that topic uh, i think five marks uh, from that topic uh, five questions will come from that topic in ceet as well as neat so let us meet you all tomorrow before that again i will be sharing the links on youtube please do attend the mock test series enter your name and college without fail otherwise you will not get the result nimage result gottagutte mock test attend madidre and it is free of cost okay yeah fine let me end up the session here have a nice day take care bye bye